Good evening. My name is Peter Vamos. I'm a pianist composer. However, tonight I will be a chef. I'm gonna show you how to make Hungarian star crepe. I used to have restaurant, we used to do that, and it's a great dish. And I'm gonna show you what we need for that. Later on, I might play you a song too. We need two eggs. We're gonna break the eggs and I'm gonna beat up the eggs a little bit. We're gonna add about half a cup of milk. Okay, a pinch of sea salt. I'm using sea salt. You can use regular salt. Up to you. I'm gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar, maybe a half a teaspoon. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit. Okay, this is about one and a half cup of regular white flour. If you want to use whole wheat flour, you can do that too. Okay, now we can mix this a little bit. Okay, and now comes the secret ingredients, what is makes the difference between Hungarian star crepe or like French or Swiss crepe. Makes it really, really soft and light. We are adding the cup soda. You can use soda water, seltzer water, any type of bubbling water. Yeah, see the bubbles? Okay, this will make it really light. You mix it together and we're gonna add the rest. Rest of the water, soda water. See the bubbles? Look how beautiful is this. This will be the lightest crate. Okay, I'm gonna mix this together. And actually that should rest for a couple of minutes. So let it rest. Until the batter are resting, I'm gonna play a little bit of my original composition called Chloe, a little part of it. If you wanna hear the whole song, go on YouTube under Peter Vamos and click on Chloe. That's the name of the song. <laughs> show you the consistency look how beautiful is this this is how it should be if it's too thick you add like a little soda water water a little milk if it's too thin you add a little bit of flour now our pan is preheated it's very important to have a hot pan add a little bit of olive oil just very just very little you can use any oil you want and now I'm gonna add the crepe better look at this See? Look how simple is this, look how easy to do this. Just work it around the pan. And now about one minute, gonna cook. Until this cooks, I'm gonna show you now how to make a Hungarian style chicken crepe, chicken, mushroom and cheese. Okay, I'm taking a pre-decorated pan. I have a little bit of strawberry orange and a little bit of 
fresh mango and fresh raspberry sauce. What I just made, you know, just puree it in a food process, a little fresh fruit sugar, as you wish. And actually, I have the crepe right in back here. I already made a couple. So I'm gonna use one in here. Right here. I'm gonna add the chicken. Any chicken you can use. You can use grilled chicken, broiled chicken, boiled chicken, any chicken leftovers what you have. I'm gonna add a little bit of mushroom, sauteed in olive oil. Very, very simple. A little bit of grated cheese. This is a five cheese mixture. You can use any cheese you want. Roll it up. Put it right in the plate. I'm using a little bit of Hungarian paprika just to decorate it. Look at the color. Look how beautiful is this. I'm going to add a little bit more mushroom in the top. I'm going to put a little bit of parsley right here. And here you go. You get a beautiful Hungarian style chicken mushroom cheese crepe. Now I'm going to go back to my crepe. It takes about a good minute at one side and I'm going to turn it over like this. See how beautifully cooked? This is, takes about maybe 15 seconds the second side. That's all it's going to take. So we're going to wait for that now. Okay, this is done and ready. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to do it like that. I put my pan on. And now I'm going to make something that I just invented actually a couple minutes ago. I had an idea. I had some beautiful fresh ricotta cheese, fresh blueberries. I put a little bit of powdered sugar and pure vanilla in here. Now I'm going to add the blueberries. I'm going to mix it a little bit together. Just a second. Pour it right to that beautiful fresh crepe I just made. Spread it out a little bit, roll it up, mmm, beautiful and warm. I have this same dish, I just put a little bit of sauce together, I took a knife, made a line and this looks like a little hearts in there, I'm going to transfer that right here, right like that, a little bit of powdered sugar, and a little extra treat. A little bit of chocolate syrup, optional, I like it. And here you go, you got a beautiful fresh ricotta, blueberry crepe, the Hungarian crepe. Bon appetit, thank you for watching, and good night, see you next time. My name is Peter Vamos.